we go. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Lucklin here, and welcome back to Adventures with Lucklin. All right, so, uh, yeah. So, only one mistake happened while I was gone. As a matter of fact, I had an amazing time. We had a great time. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Lucklin here, and welcome back to Adventures with Lucklin. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the last two episodes. Uh, I thought they were pretty good. I really enjoyed them. And I enjoyed all your comments and all your thumbs ups. You guys are amazing. And I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for all your support. You guys, I can't I can't say it enough. You guys are awesome. And you guys are like, you're the ones that give me the motivation to do this. So I really, really, really appreciate it. I mean, I like making videos anyways, but it, it's an extra plus. You guys are awesome. All right, so me and Mrs. Luckman are obviously back from our... Uh, anniversary getaway which was an absolutely amazing time had a great time spent a lot of time with each other got to see you know we went to our favorite place in cannon beach uh oregon so if you guys are interested in seeing any of that we are putting pictures on instagram so if you don't follow us on instagram mine i have two of them so you can choose which one you want to follow but i would probably say follow the one with the pictures so i have luckland for the win which is luckland ftw and then i also have luckland picks that's my uh, where I do all my photography and stuff like that. So please go check them out. Also, please go over and check out Mrs. Luckland's too. Hers is Instagram.com slash Mrs. Luckland. You should be able to find all the links down below. So now, last time we left off, I said, hey, give me some ideas on what we should do and, you know, all these different things. And you know what? I have some comments I'm going to read. So let's go into the comments right now. So we're going to look at, let's see. So here's here's a good one here. This is actually there's a lot of them here. Let me see. Let's open this one. Let's see where's that. There it is. Okay, this is from Bacon Lettuce Pickles. Great name by the way. It says uh, sure you've realized a lot has changed in Minecraft. A couple notes. You only need 15 bookshelves to max out enchanting. Remember you need air spaces between the block shelves. Whoa, whoa. All right, we're back, you guys. Sorry about that. That was our alarm going off because uh, somebody opened a window because they were hot. Uh, what happens, we usually set the alarm so you stay in for the night, but then if a window or a door is open, the alarm goes off. So, awesome. But okay, we're good now. All right, so bacon, lettuce, pickles. Back to what you said. You said, sure, you have realized a lot has changed in Minecraft. A couple notes. You only need 15 bookshelves to max out enchanting. Remember, you need air spaces between the bookshelves and the table. Coal is affected by fortune enchants, just like lapis, redstone, diamonds, and emeralds. Beets can be used to make beetroot soup. Six beets and a bowl restores three drumsticks and is in pretty high in saturation, so you won't get hungry as often. I did not know that. I did not know that at all. Uh, the sword does slash damage, like slash and hits multiple targets. Better to use an axe to slaughter animals. Interesting. It says, glad to see you back making videos. Well, thank you so much, Bacon Lettuce Pickles. Um, I don't really see anybody here that said, uh, let's see. I thought I saw one where someone said make it out of stone. But what we're going to do, oh, you know what? No, it was in the one before this. Hold on. It was in the one before this. Let me go to the one before this, interior design. Let me do that one. And it's probably going to play. Oh, look. I'm playing my own video. That's great. So let's do done. Let's go over here. And I know it was in here because everyone was talking. Yep. It's in this one. So let's see what people say. Um, right here. So Julia says, okay, so I have answers for your questions. Beats. Uh, said a soup. Red dye. Time does fly. Kids steal your brain cells. I'm pretty sure. Walls, stone brick looks good. And then somebody also said, hold on, let me find the one that said you could do what little Ethan did in the uh, Minecraft Family Adventures. Now, I don't know if you guys remember that, but there was a particular uh, style little Ethan did in Minecraft Family Adventures. Hmm. We're just going to come up with something. We'll come up with something. But I do appreciate all your comments, you guys. Seriously. All right, so let's do this. Um... It's dark out, so let's go sleep. We're going to go sleep, and what we're going to concentrate on today is our enchanting room. So we need 15 bookshelves. We need 15 bookshelves. I don't remember how many we have. We have to go do a bookshelf count, and maybe we should harvest this. Yep, we're harvesting all of this right now. There we go. And all of that. Good. Good to go. All right, so let's go on up here. So we have 19 there. I know we have some hidden in here somewhere. We have a bunch. 
just got to figure out where they are. There they are. There's 24 more of them there. Do we have any paper just sitting anywhere? I don't think we do. Any paper? Nope, but there's a book. Okay, so we have five bookshelves. Good. Good deal. All right, so any paper? No paper. It would be cool if you could take apart other books that you don't need. All right, so let's make some paper. Let's make paper. And what does that give us? That's going to give us 42 paper. So we have these and this. There we go. And that's going to give us 15 books. I like 15 books. 15 books is good. Where is... Where are we at? So there's 15 books here. And... Come on. There's 8 more there. So it gives us a total of 23. Um, Alright, let's grab some wood. Let's do this again. Okay. Remember, this is how we're supposed to do it. I think it's in the middle. And then it's like this. And like that. Yep. Alright, so that's going to give us... 12 bookshelves. Hey, we're only three bookshelves off. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, what are we missing? We need a lot of paper still. Dang it. Wait, I thought we had more reads. Hold on, let me see. Did I collect all of them? I think I did. I did. I collected all of them. Oh, come on. That sucks. We need more reads. Can we speed them up with bone mill? Can we try that? Let's try it. Can we speed reads up with bone mill? I don't even remember if you can do that or not. I don't even think that's possible. If it is, we're going to. We're totally going to. We have a skeleton dungeon, so we have a plethora of bone meal. So let's see what we have. Come on. Come on. No. No, I hate you so much, Reeds. Nope. So we are kind of stuck with this. So we have to wait. So we have 12 bookshelves, which is nice. So we're going to have to wait. Ah, I didn't really want to wait. But now what we can do is start working on the walls. So let's grab our iron pick here. And let's take this out. Oh, yeah. So we'll dig all of this out and figure out what we're going to do with these walls. Let's do all that. I want to get too dark in here. I think we're going to do something. I'm trying to think what we could do like creative with these walls. Something cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this up just by putting that back there. Oh, you know what would be kind of neat? If we put a window right here that would look inside of the, the ravine. You know what? We're probably going to do that. I think a window would be cool right there. So let's see how much we have to uh, let's figure this. I just put this in, and now we're getting rid of it. All right. So let's do this. Can't recall if we have sand. So i got to see if we have sand to make this window work. I like the idea of a window. All right, let's keep digging that out. I don't know, this is turning more into not a window. Okay, now, how far down? Yeah, that's far down. That's really far down. Let's grab all this. Let's drop a torch down, just in case. All right, so let's go see if we have sand up here. Any sand? I do not recall getting sand. Oh, we have 10 sand there. So we can make... Oh, we have 17. Yep, we have 17. So let's go ahead and cook up this sand. Take that out. Um, We should probably go slaughter these cows. Let's take the axe, slaughter the cows. All right. So it looks like the axe does not do... What do you call it? Damage. Oh, you know what? We should probably be... I'm doing everything backwards right now because we should actually be grabbing wheat and breeding these cows before we kill them. All right, so we only have 11 wheat. That's not good. We're kind of running out of everything. Might have to go in here and harvest some of this. Let's see. All of that. All of that. That. All of this and that. All right, let's replant. Where are our seeds? There they are. So I'm really curious about the beet soup now because they said it it actually 
it's more saturation, so like you don't get as hungry as often. That's kind of neat. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's make babies. Make babies. All kinds of babies. Come on. All of you make babies. Can I jump up? There we go. Come on. Come on. Somebody's got to get in love here. Somebody. Oh, there we go. There's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There we go. All right. So uh, let's grab the axe. Kill that one. That one. That one. That one. Oh, some of these are just being one-shotted. There we go. They ran right into that. Did you see them run right in? They ran right into my axe. Come on. Oh, there's another one. The axe does some damage. There we go. Well, this is good, because then you don't get the babies. Because last time, I was doing, like, AoE attacks on the whole entire pasture, and that was not good. There we go. Done. All right, so now babies. Hello, babies. Sorry I had to do that. It's natural selection. That's how it works. All right, you guys are good. Now, how many we get? We have 15 leather. And, like, we can't do anything. We have no reeds. We can't do anything. We have no reeds. That's what sucks. So we got to figure out where we're going to put our bookshelves. Oh, actually, you know, I'm going to fix something real fast. Because Tim mentioned something in the comments. Uh, let's do this. Let's take away this. No, we can't do that yet. We got to get out first. Let's take away. Let's put it here. Because we can actually move these over instead of looking over. He mentioned to just put it like that there. Just like that. Same with this one. We can put this one right there. And it works like that. So we, we didn't even have to. And on top of that, let me show you what else he said. He basically said that instead of doing what we did here, let me dig this out. Let me figure out where it's at. Yeah. At this point, I don't even remember anymore. That's great. There it is. Okay, so instead of going this far over, all we had to do was just two. That's it. So now that footprint gets even smaller. So all we have is two pieces of redstone right there. Cover that up. All the way over like that. And now it's even smaller. It's literally just that. You just hit it there. And now we can go in and we can do that. Thanks, Tim, for the idea, man. I wasn't really thinking about it. I didn't really think the whole thing out, but like it's really simple. Like you use two pieces of redstone and two buttons and you're good to go. And you have a door system where it actually works pretty well. And it's a lot better than looking over to the right. You were right, Tim. Thanks, man. All right, so uh, right now we're kind of at the mercy of our reeds growing. Oh, they're starting to grow. That's good. All right, so let's get up here. Let's check on our glass. We may have to go get some more sand. So we have 17 glass. Figure out how we want to do this. How do I want to make this observation window? I mean, do I want to make an observation window? I don't know. Yeah, why not? I'm going to. So let's do this. Let's grab this here and put that there. Let me go like this. Yeah, it doesn't need to be that large. It can just be here. Not sure like where else we're going to put this. Let me see if this... I was hoping that this broke away and you could see like straight through here, but we can't. So I don't know. It's kind of cheesy now. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Oh, also, if you guys are still watching, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the thumbnails. What do you guys think of the new thumbnails? Those new thumbnails are created by my son, Little Ethan. I don't know if you guys don't know, Little Ethan is a 3D artist and animator now, and I can proudly say that as his dad, because he's really, really, really good at it. If you guys uh, want to catch some of his live streams, too, you can go check him out. He's on Beam. It's beam.pro slash littleethan000. He streams over there, and he streams his animations, and he streams his, his 3D renders and stuff like that. I am not sure, like, the thumbnail for this video, I think he did it on stream. He might not have did it on stream. But, uh, yeah, you guys should go check that out. He's getting really good at what he does. Really good at what he does. And I'm super proud of him. Okay, so that's cool. Look at that. Now we have an observation. 
It's kind of neat. I just don't like the the walls. The walls look stupid right now, and I'm not liking this. We gotta fix these walls, you guys. We seriously do. And at this point, I think what we're gonna do is start cooking up cobblestone. Let me see. Do we have more? Oh yeah, we have plenty of coal. We're gonna start cooking up some cobblestone, massive amounts of it. So then we can uh, let's grab some more cobble here. Let's create a couple more furnaces just to uh, get this going. So we'll create two more, which is perfect. <laughs> we'll put one here and one there. And then we'll split this up here. We'll grab us some more cobblestone. Put that in there. Grab some cobble. So we're going to cook these up because we're going to start making stone bricks. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. There's another one. Oh, there's more coal, too. We have plenty of coal. I was like, oh, man, we're out of coal. We're not out of coal. We're not even nearly out of coal, so that's good. All right, so we'll let those cook up, and it's getting nighttime again, so we got to sleep. Let's go ahead and sleep. Do our thing. Do our thing right now. All right, and sleep time. So I just want to talk to you guys also about our uh, little getaway. We had a good time. We were in, like I said before, Cannon Beach, Oregon, and uh, we got to travel around like the Cannon Beach down to Mencinia, um, go over to Tillamook, and then to the uh, the different um, like Cape Mirrors, and then there's another one, Cape Lookout. So we got to go to all that. It was really cool, and it was a lot of fun. Like I said, we really enjoy that part of the United States. It's absolutely beautiful. And like I said before, if you want to see what it looks like, go check out. Okay, I got something for you. Okay, if you're watching the video and you go over to my Instagram, I want you to tell me there's a picture I posted. It was the, it was yesterday's picture because this is going up today. So it would have been on the 12th. Yeah, it was the 12th picture. I want you to tell me in the comments below what it is because uh, I felt like it was a really epic picture. It was really, really cool. I was really proud of it. All right, so what do we got here? 12 there, 7 there, 9 there. So we're going to let those cook up. Let those cook up. Let's go down here, see what we have. Not much, but it's just enough. Like, we don't need too much more, so that's the good thing. That's a good thing. Let's go back up. We got 10. So that'll give us, let's see, here. That's going to give us 9 more which we could do that and then this that'll give us nope why are you doing that that's just the opposite so yeah it's only gonna give us three more books so it gives us a total of five books are you kidding me we're off by one freaking book you gotta be joking me this is so stupid so we're off by one book so here's what i'm going to do we're just gonna steal these I don't care. I want to make this and get it done with. All right, let's see. Um, try it again. So we have four. So there's three. That's one book. That's one book right there. Done. Let's put that there. That'll give us six books. Now we should be able to do this. Should be able to go like this, and then like this, and like this. And that'll give us two more bookshelves. Oh my goodness. We're off by one bookshelf. One bookshelf. All right, let's do this again. So we're missing, so we need three more books. Oh, this is not good because I don't want to take away everything. All right, you know what? We'll just, we'll just have to do it like this. We're doing it like this, you guys. We have to sacrifice. We have to sacrifice. We'll leave those two back there. We'll let them grow, and then we'll replant. That's all. That's all we can do. So we have eight. What is it going to give us? It's going to give us six more. So that's going to give us two more books books only two more books i need i need all right so it's gonna come down to this it's coming down to it yeah all right so let's look let's look real fast and make sure there's no books anywhere that i've missed i see no books there no books there i don't see a book there and no books there all right hopefully i'm not blind so we're going to grab one more of these. Oh, all right. So that one right there, that's the last one. That's the one we're going to use to repopulate. We're going to have to use it to repopulate our reeds. All right, let's go back up here. Let's do it again. So we have three. And that's going to give us three pieces of paper. And that's going to give us one book. Yes. Thank you. 
There's the one book. That's going to give us three books. Done there and done there. Now we did it. 15 bookshelves. Yes, we did it. All right, so I know I said we were going to make an enchanting room this episode, but we didn't because I wanted to talk and go over comments with you guys and just, like, you know, just hang out. So next episode, we are for sure going to create ourselves an enchanting room. And we're going to have to go find a place downstairs and pick out where we're going to put it and all that good stuff. But I just want to say thank you to you guys so much for all your support. You guys are awesome and amazing, and I can't say that enough. And there's an Enderman either in my house or outside. Uh-oh.